Morning, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my workshop. What am I going to talk about today? Well, if you watched the other video, I did a prelude of all the bits that were wrong with these two bikes. I then decided that I would then show you the carburetor, um, kickstart, ignition, rear shock, panel sorting. In fact, it's not got a centre stand, I put a side stand on it. But I decided then to do short bike videos a lot easier. Where do you start with a bike that's not running? Well, there was a major problem with this one, so let's have a listen. Can you hear that? It's not right. So I thought, what's the sense of getting it running if there's something quite majorly wrong with it? I believe it's starting to do the rear wheel and brake. So I've got to take off the bottom, because again, it hasn't got a stand. So I will be putting on a side stand. But you still can't work on it. So bottom's going to come off, I'm going to brick it up, and we're going to get on with that and find out what this noise is. So. Let's get on with it. So we have this truly horrible noise emanating from the back wheel. So, is it the tyre? Is it the brakes? Is it the clutch system? Is it the gearbox? Well, I think we're just going to take the back wheel off, then take the engine cover off, until we can identify where it's coming from. I have had before, where someone fitted the wrong clutch, and they're actually grinding on the outside. But let's get on with it. With this nice sports exhaust here that is not fitted properly. This is quite common. It's the right exhaust. But I don't think it's spaced properly. So we may have to refit that as well. The list of jobs for this bike just keeps going on. So back wheel off, cover off, and guess what we have? Still this horrible noise. I don't think it's the gearbox, I actually think it's the clutch. So um, let's get that off shall we. It wouldn't do it when the engine was running because this is when it's running. See, it only rubs the inside bit. Doesn't actually turn the back wheel bit. Let's get this off and let's have a look shall we. And there we go, look. Take it off. Nice, so the gearbox is good, at least that's something, it's the clutch, now, that's not good, I think that's not salvageable, I think it's the bearings in here, I mean I could try, try greasing them up even, but I'm guessing that inside there is pretty knackered, shame because it's got good pads on it, <sighs> there we go, all that worked fine, it was just this. I'm spotting more and more things on this though. The exhaust bolts here, this is way too far over, um, so that needs sorting out as well. So where am I now with this bike? No further forward at all. At least I've established where the grinding noise is coming from. It's not the gearbox, so I can now carry on with the engine. New clutch. I guess I could grease it up. I don't think so somehow. When it's sounding that bad, it's really run dry. And I reckon that is just not fixable at all. Um, I'm going to have to decide. So now it comes down to using the silver bike outside and pillaging from that, I guess, using it for spares. A guy recently contacted me saying that he had um, a speed fight that needed £500 worth of work doing to it. Um, I said keep it, buy another one, use it for spares, it makes a lot more sense. And that's what I'm going to do with this, it's got so many parts, spares and bits and bobs on there, it makes a lot of sense keeping it and putting it all in this one and getting this running. But there's so many little bits wrong with this bike, literally every time I'm looking at something, something else isn't right, something else isn't right. So while this is off though, I want to do a back shock. So um, I don't know where to end this video really, do I keep going? I said it would be a short bike video to find out where the noise was coming from. Um, but I might as well show you how while I'm here to get off the rear shock as well and then let's get on with the engine because I know it does run um, it just needs help basically and having that clutch lap wouldn't help much do you see what I'm saying when get all the panels off seats out this is the back bits here there's a cut the bolts here and a, a little bolt under here for the back light do you see how easy it is now to get to the petrol tank people said to me my petrol gauge doesn't work and that's working fine see ya just twist this and out comes your petrol, and there it is there, simple as that, empty, full, empty, full, 
couldn't get no easier than that and how easy that is to replace. Pop it in, turn it, that pulls out and plugs in again. So simple. We're not talking about that though. We are talking about lifting this tank ever so slightly to the side like that. Simple for the bottom bit, but obviously support the bike, which I haven't got a centre stand. I've got a lump of um, concrete there. Undo that bolt, that slides out, and in there is our bolt. So much easier to get to when you lift the tank ever so slightly, you'll be able to get the bolt in there. Obviously I could take this off, which is going to come off in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is, where if you have the whole bike still together, you're never going to get to the bolt under here. Okay, same as the front, I've shown many videos on that one, but I got asked before about the rear shock, that was just a bonus feature, shall we call it, on this one. I'm going to get the wheel back on now, because I know there's nothing with that, I'll check the brake pads while we're there, um, and then put the wheel back on, and then get the clutch off of the donor bike, which is going to be used as a donor bike now, obviously. So there's loads and loads and loads to get on with, guys, so, damn it, I said, guys, I've done so well. Ugh. I was trying ever so hard not to say that word. <laughs> Failed. And you don't know how many clips I've done that I've actually had to redo again, guy. Keep saying it. Anyway, right, there you go. So, simple video, really. Bit of a mismatch, I know. It was the clutch. You have to take things apart. That's what I'm trying to say. Bits and bobs, you need a garage. A young lad asked me the other day, um, can you look at my videos, please? Tell me what you think. Are you doing an air box? Um, he watches. Oh yeah, ask about shout outs as well. Daniel, I get a load of people asking me for shout outs and I may not do a video for a little while and I forget. So I apologise, I'd like to shout out to all of my 3,700 odd subscribers. I do it for you, I really appreciate you subscribing as well. Anyway, as I said, a bit of a mismatch, I wanted to show you what the grinding noise was, the process for finding it out, get the panels off. Again, ignition barrel. As you see, silly key, you know? So, I know it's a mismatch, as I said, here's the ignition barrel. Obviously, I'm going to be doing the old side stand as well, which people have asked me about before, which I can do. I'm going to get the clutch sorted, change this shock exhaust for here. There's so many little bits I have to do. So, if you want to see more bits done to this bike, like, subscribe and share, and check out around the outside, and hopefully... We'll uh, get to see what's on running. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing.